Alright, so today we're going to be talking about Silent Hill 4. It's 20 years old as of today. I do genuinely love this game. I've definitely got gripes with it, but all in all, it was and still is a fantastic game. To start, the atmosphere of the game is kind of no other. I would best describe Silent Hill 4 as a fever dream. Like if you went and joined Tom Cruise in Scientology and learned the teachings of L. Ron Hubbard and had a Scientology fever dream, it's what this game is. I really love the aesthetic of it, the way it makes me feel, the fever dreamy feeling. It's like, it's very dreamish, the character, you know, he goes through a hole. He likes to fill holes in this game. You'll be filling a lot of holes in this game. But then you come back and it was all just a dream. But was it? I don't know. I really like that aspect about the game as well is the different world traversal, I think is very interesting and very unique fantastic the aesthetic everything's there with it the characters you meet along the way aren't fully fleshed out but they're good characters as they are henry as a character is kind of bland they could have done more with him but i understand what they were trying to do i kind of i absolutely get it let's talk about the music real quick akira yamaoka did a fantastic job with the soundtrack again it goes with that fever dream feel it's very prevalent throughout this game is it my favorite Silent Hill soundtrack? No. I still would say 3 is better. But this one, I would put above the first Silent Hill game, for sure. Um, but again, back to the characters. Really good. James' dad's in it? James Sunderland from Silent Hill 2? His dad's in this. Very interesting choice to go that route. And, and, and every character is really weird. You know, like James' dad has an umbilical cord in his room that he's kept for years. That's... What are you doing, dude? Get rid of that. Get, get it together. Be a man. The different levels. So the first level, subway. It's all right. The ghosts get pretty annoying pretty fast. The second level is the foresty area. Um, the wish house level is pretty good. I enjoy it. It's very unique um, with the things that happen. And the gameplay mechanics I really start to play upon that whole, oh, you find this item. You can't progress in the level, but you can take it, drop it off in your box, and then you could go through it, you know, the hole into a different area, and you can use that item. It's a nice little, neat little puzzle. It's really interesting what they did with that. Um, I like that aspect of it. Um, and then the next level you have the water prison, if I'm correct. That level sucks. And then after that, you have the stupid ass, like, downtown outside of the apartments. I don't know, is it rooftops? I don't remember what the level's called, but you're going through different stores and stuff. I'm just gonna call it downtown. It's downtown. It's downtown. Uh, the next level after that is the apartment, where you go to all the different rooms. And then after that's the hospital, spoilers, where you team up with Eileen, and that's where the negatives, the game come into play, is the second half of this game is an escort mission, and it 100% revolves around you making sure Eileen doesn't get hurt, because if she gets hurt, you get the bad ending. It makes it harder in the final boss fight. Ridiculous. That's, it's terrible. It's ter- fucking awful. I am sure there's a mod on PC to get rid of that, but for platforms that this game was released on, it was released PS2, original Xbox, and PC. I own all three versions. You can currently buy the PC version on GOG for like 10 bucks. I highly recommend it just to give it a shot, you know? GOG is also a great service. Uh, that's kind of the biggest negatives. Also, the wall demon monsters. I don't like them. Um, they show up when you're going up and down escalators or stairs, and they're hands down some of the worst fucking enemies in the game, if not the worst. Second to the ghost. Aesthetically, the ghosts are creepy as hell. When they, when that first one, I remember when I was 12 years old when I first played this game, because I thought it was a zombie game when I rented it from Hollywood Video back in the day. When that first ghost comes out of the wall at the very beginning, I shut this fucking game off. I didn't touch it until the next day, and I picked it up, going through the subway, and that fucking ghost came back. I was done. I hadn't played it again until 2011. That should show you how scary this game is. This game has some scares. So the two terrible enemies, awful, 
but at the same time aesthetically pleasing. Every monster in this game is fucking terrifying to look at and scares the absolute shit out of me. I would go as far as to say this for me is the scariest Silent Hill game. It 100% is for me. Just the tone, the atmosphere, that fever dream-like dream, the way everything plays out, and then the monsters are great. Combat, I really enjoy in this game. Um, you basically can like quick attack, and it helps charge up a meter, or you can hold it down and you hit to do a heavy attack. It's an interesting mechanic. I like it. I don't like the limited inventory space. I understand why they did it, but I still don't like it. It's terrible. It's terrible. Trying to make sure I touched upon everything. The final boss fight, as long as I lean, isn't too fucked up by the end of the game. It's pretty good boss fight. Um, the number of weapons in the game is a bit disappointing. Um, you do collect golf clubs throughout the game that break if you use them. Uh, the fire axe is really good. There's no reason to replay this game other than story. Because you don't really get any bonuses for replaying it. Like in previous Silent Hill games. Which really sucks. It's kind of fucking ass. Story. I genuinely like the story. The fact that Claudia, the main antagonist of Silent Hill 1, had a backup plan unless the Alessa shit didn't work out, and it was Walter Sullivan doing the 21 Sacraments, I think is very interesting. I do enjoy that. I know amongst Silent Hill fans, that's very divisive, but a lot of Silent Hill fans are bitching about the trailer for the Silent Hill 2 remake, and they're stupid. The game looks fine, and the story in this game's fine. It's fine. It's good. We have way worse now. Stop you bitching. I guess I'll start to wrap this up. You know, like I was saying, this aren't supposed to be long, fleshed out, drawn out angry joe style reviews this is just my quick kind of thoughts touching upon things i like and dislike with the game to find this game it's pretty difficult now i really would just say either emulate it or buy it on gog for 10 bucks it can run on like fucking anything it's definitely worth your time. Silent Hill 4 turning 20 years old. I was playing it earlier. You'll probably see the original Xbox footage on screen. I was streaming it on the original Xbox and it just the graphically it holds up. It does look a lot better on PC, but on the original Xbox, it's still got that feel. Also, I want to touch upon you could change blood, color of blood in the game. That's pretty fun, you know, running around Killing monsters with green blood is cool. Or purple. Or black. Or red. All in all, Silent Hill 4 is definitely worth your time if you are a survival horror fan. I would definitely give it a 4 out of 5. I do recommend it. Go buy it on GOG. GOG is a great and trustworthy platform on PC to buy from. It's 10 bucks, man. <laughs> you can argue. If you want to own it physically, good luck. Uh, the cheapest copy I found of Silent Hill 4 for the original Xbox was about 60 to 80 dollars for the PlayStation 2 eh, Yeah, like 200 let, let, Let's be real here like Konami's not doing anything with these games. So their aftermarket value has increased significantly I highly recommend this game check it out 20 years, you know it's insane to now think that the original four Silent Hill games is over 20 years old. Shit, Silent Hill 1 and 2 and 3 are legally able to drink. Go have a beer with Harry, James, and Heather. And definitely, I mean, come on, Eddie. Come on. Come on. We all know why he was throwing up Silent Hill 2. Anyways, 4 out of 5, check this game out. Thank you guys for watching, and if you like what you see here, maybe give me a subscribe, maybe a notification bell ring. Alright, go away. I won't hurt you!